What is it, YouTube? What's you here with a video on the future of Marvel? So there appears to be some information flowing around about the Moon Knight series that we are so looking forward to on this channel so happy halloween aka war stew's birthday so if you want to give me a present all you got to do is subscribe to the channel comment like share and that's all i want for you guys for halloween so it is this video is going to go out on the 31st of october so what is good youtube so at the 100,000 subscriber mark i will be giving away a switch or a ps4 or an Xbox One X with any game of your choice just to say thank you. So, there's some information going around about the Moon Knight series that was confirmed at Disney 23. I'm pretty sure it's already been confirmed. I'm pretty sure it was confirmed. So, there is a leak going around, but guys, take these leaks with a pinch of salt, guys, because there is fake stories around everywhere, you know, it not just in the Marvel Universe and the DC Universe. So much alleged stuff is happening, but at the moment, guys, we're going to try and cover stories with more viable sources. So, I want to go over this, this Moon Knight plot leak, because I think it's interesting. So, I've heard on the grapevine, but guys, don't even take this serious, that Stephen Amell could be playing Moon Knight. Now, you know there's been a lot of speculation about... Keanu Reeves playing Moon Knight and other other actors, so to speak. So it would be interesting. I'm a massive Stephen Amell fan. And as we know, Stephen Amell is over in the Green Arrow role. Stephen Amell could literally play any character in the MCU, in the DCEU. Why don't these movie studios just look at Stephen Amell? Like, Moon Knight, cool, sick, sorted. So you know the standard rumors that's been going around the internet for such a long time that that War Stew is going to be the next Moon Knight, that Shia LaBeouf is going to be Moon Knight, that Keanu Reeves is going to be Moon Knight. Literally, guys, the Keanu Reeves rumors are getting ridiculous now. He's also supposed to be in talks for Fast and Furious 9. He's supposed to be in talks for playing the documentary of the life of War Stew. The guy's been linked to everything. I'm surprised he's not been in WWE already by now. And you know it's pretty cool? It's because Keanu Reeves doesn't have social media. That's what makes it interesting when rumors come about because he wouldn't really hear the rumors. So let's go over this leak. I will leave it down below. But guys, take the leaks with a pinch of salt because there's so many creators talking about a leak every single day. Now, what is interesting about this is Moon Knight hasn't even been cast into the role yet. We don't know who's playing him. That's why I say Stephen Amell could be playing Moon Knight. I have heard rumors, but they're not really from credible sources. But, you know, it's always interesting to listen to people's opinions about what's going to happen so the show alternates between 2003 and 2023 it will be a trippy sliding time scale that i've heard compared to westwood and mr robot so if you don't watch mr robot it is one of the greatest tv shows ever do not compare anything to mr robot unless it's going to be fire but like i said guys it's really hard because like i say usually what happens is an actor gets cast into lead a show or a movie, then plot leaks come. It doesn't usually go plot leak, then we get the confirmation of who's going to be playing the character. Wants to be simultaneously exploring mental health issues, wealth disparity, and superhero action. So it seems like it's going to be a bit all over the place. Mark Spector will be the MCU's first truly flawed protagonist. He will make decisions that will shock you. Currently, in the first episode, he throws a man off a skyscraper to his death. Despite it being Disney+, Plus, they aren't pulling any punches. No, guys, this is going to... I'm going to debunk this, guys. You wouldn't... They're not going to do this like this. You got to think, guys. Disney has a child audience, okay? Let, let's be a bit modest, okay? So it's got a teenage audience, a kind of family friendly content like family friendly content on youtube it's got to be advertiser friendly that is the same thing for disney it's got to be child friendly so you really think that in the first episode moon knight is going to throw someone off a skyscraper leading to death now it could be edgy you know they could bring edgy content but i do not believe that will pull heavily from the ellis run with both his classical costume and his moon knight personnel I mean, this looks like they've missed a word out, word off. So it should say Moon Knight personal period. Doesn't really make any substance contents of what that's actually saying. And then it's got a prefer of people who actually are looking to play the role. You know, Shia LaBeouf's on that list. Rami Malak, Michael Ely. Now this list here, guys, is literally irrelevant because, of course, Marvel will be casting this character at the moment. Because they've officially announced that they are in production. They are making this TV show. And Moon Knight essentially will carry over to the MCU movies. As we know, 
every Marvel TV show that's going to be on the streaming service is canon to the MCU going forward. So I should say, Stephen Amell is going to be in this role. I think Stephen Amell should be there. But it does say, but there's a push internally to go for an unknown and surround him with A-listers. So essentially, the main star of the mo of the TV show, sorry, is going to be a nobody in the sense to an A-lister. Then the A-listers are going to be like starring alongside him. So Stephen Mel could be this because although Stephen Mel is a very well-known actor, when it comes to Hollywood, he's only appeared in a in a handful of projects. You know, he's starring in Code Eight with his cousin. Robbie ML, and he's been in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie. So he's not really been in a lot. And then it goes on to say, show is mostly an origin story with Bushmaster as the main villain. Now, I'm, I'm laughing, guys, because you remember Bushmaster was in Luke Cage season two. And essentially, Bushmaster is essentially just a super-powered crime lord who is insanely powerful and he's really good at fighting and he's had conflict with a plethora of really awesome people like Luke Cage himself, Iron Fist, etc. and Misty Knight, who all did feature in Luke Cage Season 2. But what is also interesting about this story is if you go over to Jeremy Conrod, his website called mcucosmoke.com, he is a legend... A legend. I mean, this article's from the 30th, so I thought I'd go over it because, you know, validity and all that. And it says, Stained Glass Scarlet is a villain in Moon Knight Disney Plus series, but the other kind of potential plot leak says it's Bushmaster. So let's go over what this article says. It says, Marvel's Studios first to Disney Plus streaming series. The Falcon Winter Soldier and WandaVision are beginning production this year. And while there will be some cool things coming with them heroes, Marvel is starting work on latter series such as Miss Marvel and Moon Knight. Marvel hasn't yet found their Mark Spector, although the search is on, but today we know who one of the villains is in the show. Despite rumors flying around on the internet, this rumor isn't about Vector, arch nemesis, Bush Master. So I'm presuming that Mr. Jeremy Conrode is referring to the, the kind of leak. Instead, there will be a lesser known Moon Knight character as a villain in the series. According to a reliable source, you know, guys, like I always say on this, guys, reliability means nothing unless your name is Kevin Feige, unless the source is coming from Marvel Studios himself. So a reliable source. Okay, guys, take this with a pinch of salt, but I thought this story was interesting. Stained Glass Scarlet will appear in the series. I don't know if she's the main villain or something different in the story, but she is a villain in the Moon Knight comic since her first appearance way back in Moon Knight issue 14. So the story goes on. As a lot of people are unfamiliar with Moon Knight and his rogue gallery, Stained Glass Scarlet is an ex-nun who has psychic connection with Mark Spector. And who can enter his mind in the form of dreams? It is entirely possible that Bushmaster could still show up in this series as he is one of Moon Knight's biggest villains. But Scarlet looks to be the first villain confirmed for this show. Thank you for this story, Jeremy Conrad. Very interesting story. So if you don't know who Moon Knight is, essentially it is, I hate to say this, guys, because someone's going to say, what's you? You're such a fanboy. I'm not because I've literally got over, you know, 500 DC videos on this channel. Moon Knight is essentially Marvel's variation of Batman, which is awesome. It really is awesome. But I do agree with this Jeremy Conrad article that they should introduce lesser known villains because they don't need to punch you in the face with, you know, Mark Spector's biggest villain to start off with, do you? Like they don't need to pull Mark, they don't need to pull Moon Knight's greatest villain straight away, do they? No. So the reason I'm bringing this to you is because this story has been floating around for a couple of days and I thought it was pretty interesting. Will Disney do a freaking hardcore savage series? You know, there's rumors that Daredevil's coming back. You know, the typical website we don't give clout to because we don't do free brand deals is they're also saying that Daredevil is going to be R-rated. Now, there is a way of doing a very vicious show without it being in the 15 plus category. You've just got to be edgy, but the main narrative of the story has, has to be kind of soft. So is it going to be a hardcore? Maybe. Should it be hardcore? Maybe. Are we ever going to find out? Well, we'll find out soon. So guys, let me know. Do you think the villain for this series is going to be, you know, Bushmaster, who was kind of laughable in Luke Cage, so to speak, guys. Really sorry. Bushmaster was a laughable character. He really was. But S Stained Scarlet does seem pretty interesting. So props to Mark Conrad for this interesting story about 
stained glass scarlet appearing like i say guys i'm transparent you guys i don't really know much about this character that he's talking about but it seems very interesting so also in the news we did a video a few days ago about henry cavill you know the witcher star you know the witcher's dropping the trailer today if we, we should be doing a video about that I, i'm pretty sure we will we do so we dropped a video about henry cavill potentially becoming captain britain and you guys seem to be loving it so let me know do you want Henry Cavill to become Captain Britain. I did get some negative feedback from that, but from what we understand, he's British. He literally is being messed around about messed around with the DC world. They don't seem to care for him. They don't seem to want to help him. He's so passionate about that role. Should he become Captain Britain in the MCU? I really hope that happens. So guys, like always, please like, subscribe and comment. Like I said, guys, all I want for my birthday is for you guys to smash the like button, the smash the comment button, smash the share button and help this video grow. As for some reason, YouTube's not pushing videos at the moment. I can tell this. I've also been talking to a bunch of people, other YouTubers, and for some reason, the videos, are, like impression-wise, it's not getting the reach that it did. So I don't know what's happened at the moment but if you could help the video grow guys that would be awesome so like always guys please like subscribe and comment but first guys please somebody make a petition for steven amell to play moon knight i will sign it i will reshare it i would do a video on it make steven amell moon knight so like always guys please like subscribe and comment and also check out warstudio.com that will be awesome guys it's going to be such a cool end of the year we are so close to pokemon shield and sun coming out i can't wait for that 15th night november they've actually got a an official pop-up shop in london so i might check that out. if we do i would like do some instagram stuff so make sure to follow me at warstew on instagram and at w warstew on the twitter we are doing a competition to give away endgame on blu-ray all you gotta do is follow me on twitter at w warstew and let me know you've done that over there then you can enter cool 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 so guys i will catch you in another video very soon catch you later <laughs>